We're on the last day of our spring fishing event, and Dick and I are going to go fish Green Cove Creek, which joins White Top right underneath the bridge. Stay tuned, and I'll show you some pictures. There's Dick coming across the stream. Okay, it looks like there's a little path right here, and we will go ahead and follow this over to the stream. And there it is. We're expecting some pocket water. Oh, nice campsite here. Here's the first look at Green Cove. You can see it looks pretty good. Might have some good pockets. It runs down into White Top. In fact, we'll have to fish that spot on the way out. So from that little campsite, walk over to the bridge, and there's a little trail marked by the special regulation sign that is going to lead us back down to the creek. And then we're going to be in for some real slogging as we work up this thing. But it looks like it's going to be some pretty good brookie water. Oh yes, this looks good. Dick and I are both fishing with our Tenkara rods today, and you can kind of see why. There's really not enough runway for a spinner to work, and they're not as fun anyway. And there's definitely not enough room for a full-fledged fly rod. But this is perfect for Tenkara. Well, we're gonna leapfrog pools, so I'm gonna leave him at that one and I'm going to head up to the next one. Well, for those of you who are in a panic thinking I'm giving away any secrets, well, rest assured I'm not. This is marked as special regulation water, so everybody knows about it. And the fly shop recommended we come here. I'm going to fish that pool right up there. Here's where I'm going to start. Well, nothing here on the nymphs. It's actually kind of looking more like a dry fly stream, but I'm going to give the nymphs another couple pools before I switch out and change my attack. I'm moving up. You can see that we're down here in the middle of the gorge. Bridge way up above there for the uh, Virginia Creeper Trail. This might be the best pool we see here at the base of the trestle. So I'm going to wait for my fishing buddy and we'll fish this together. I'll tell you, when you're old guys like us, you got to move carefully. And if you don't have a waiting sap on this stream, you may not live to regret it. Can you imagine a better place in the world to have a cup of coffee than right here looking at this pool and the anticipation of catching some good brookies in here. Just waiting for Dick, and then we'll hit it together. Well, my first cast ended up in that tree, so I decided to re-rig and put a dry fly on. Dick over there is using nymphs, so it's a good way to test this pool. Here's what it looks like on the other side of the trestle. No way to really move along the shore we got to carefully climb over these rocks so hopefully there's some better water up above i'm not going to try and fish this real fast water dick's going to work that pool right there i'm going to head up see what these others have in store sneaking up on this pool right here boy i tell you this is rough walking <clears throat> All these rocks here on both sides, you're in the stream and there's some pretty slick snot on some of these rocks. So Dick and I will fish this pool right here and then it looks like there's another one 
that might be good up there at the corner. If we don't catch anything, it's not worth breaking a leg. Those of you who are more adventurous may want to move up farther. Of course, we could see something good right around the corner, and then we'll have a decision to make. Well, here's what's up here at the corner. That looks decently deep. I'm going to stay away from it until Dick gets up here so we can fish it together. And I think I'm just going to cut across, see what's upstream to see if it's worth it. Just worry about breaking a leg here on this stream. So Dick is way up there. He's going to cut around to see what's upstream to see if it's worth moving up. You know, we are old guys, so we got to be very careful. And while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and see if there's anybody home in this pool. Well, I had a hit on this squirmy wormy, but no hookup. Well, we're leaving the stream. The fishing's just too tough. Water's just too shallow. Pools are just too far apart. So we gave up, we're heading back. We uh, hopped on the Virginia Creeper Trail and now we've come to the last bridge and there's a trail that goes down to the right hand side. You can see Dick working his way down. So we'll just follow the trestle across the white top and get back in the truck. Here's a wrap on that stream. We probably went in about a half mile. It is tough walking and boy, you'd better have a wading staff and be careful. You'll break your leg back there. The water was pretty low, and I saw ample evidence of raccoons, tracks, and things like that along the stream. And since the water is low, predators are here, I kind of doubt there's much for fish. I had one good strike, I didn't catch anything, so Dick and I are both leaving skunked, but we're sweaty, happy, because we got to be out in the woods in a beautiful setting. Comments? Throw it down below.